Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I really want a leopard gecko that is a little bit different looking from a lot of the common ones that you see. So I will be going to a couple different pet stores just to see how many geckos they have and also what different morphs they have. And I still haven't gotten my heat mat yet, so I wanted to just do a little bit of shopping and looking around before I get my heat mat in so that when I do, I can just know which store I want to go to. In this video, I will include clips from me looking around at a couple different stores and then I will also be including me actually going and buying a leopard gecko. But today, we will just be looking around. I'm really excited. So right now we're in the car and today we're going to do a little bit of shopping. Not actually buying anything, but we're just going to be looking for leopard geckos and we're actually just at the first place right now. This is more of a locally owned pet shop and then there's literally a PetSmart and a Petco like right across from each other so we're gonna go there next. And we also have Cooper with us just because um, he loves going to pet stores. And my dad because he volunteered to drive so I could vlog. Um, welcome Bob to the channel. Also today I have a fanny pack. <laughs> He knows he's going somewhere he's allowed to go. He's so excited. Instead of a leopard gecko, what about a lizard? <laughs> no. He thinks there's a cat in there. He's way off. May I should show us? Oh, Cooper. There's a white one in there too. Yeah. Baby. Then I graduated, I had one of these. Uh, but I remember I had the filter, the rocks at the bottom, I had all the plants in there. I just cleaning that thing out every month. I used to clean it out every month. How do you doesn't do that with the TV? Oh yeah. Alright, so I did stop at home first because my dad wanted to get some work done and Cooper needed a little bit of a break. So I'm back in the car and I'm on my way to the last pet store of the day. It's a little bit further, it's like 45 minutes away I think, but I'm going to be taking the back road so hopefully it won't take me as long. But when I called this store, they said they had um, quite a few leopard geckos. Of, with like different morphs so I have a feeling that this store will have a little bit more to offer which I'm really excited about. This one is also more of a locally owned pet store I'm pretty sure but they also said they had like a whole room for like amphibians and everything. Um, it, they just sounded like they had a lot so I'm really excited to go to this place. Um, and then after that, the next thing y'all see is just me actually going to get my leopard gecko. Also, um, the first pet store that we went to, that was the family owned store. Um, the people were pretty nice. Um, the girl that I talked to was super cool. Um, she even let me kind of interact with the two geckos that they had. Said that the two geckos there were like babies, which they were and she said they were a little bit skittish so if i did get one of those i would need to work on socializing with them um and i even kind of like tried picking them up and they were like a little bit skittish but there was um one of them that was really pretty it was a little common looking but it had some pretty colors and it also had some spots i don't know why but i really love when geckos are like covered in little polka dot it's just so cute so I really liked that one and I really liked their store and everything um, and the geckos there were only 40 bucks 
which is a reasonable price, so um, we'll see. that I'm gonna go there um, to get my leopard gecko because they had so many um, and all of them were different like some of them kind of looked similar but they were all unique in their own way and they also had like really small ones and then really big ones as you guys saw the bigger ones were around a hundred dollars um, and then the smaller ones were around 40 to 45. I do want to start out with a small one just because I want to watch them grow up and also I still have a smaller enclosure so I would like to get a smaller one. They had a ton of different fish and reptiles. It was super super cool. So definitely going back there um i don't really know which one i would want to get yet i would have to look back at some pictures that i took but we'll see i just really like that place all right so my heat mat ended up coming a day earlier than expected so it came last night and it's currently the next day so i turned it on last night and hooked it up to the thermostat just to make sure that it was working which it is and I ended up putting it a little further under the tank and I did attach it to the bottom just so that it's getting as much heat in there as possible. And then there's also like a little like probe thing um, attached to the thermostat. Uh, so that is just sitting underneath the heat mat so that it's reading accurately. And then I did set it to 92. So it's been like fluctuating and just keeping it around the right temperature. So everything's working. So I did put my hand in there to feel how hot it was and it wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be. I did lift up the carpet and put my hand against the floor and it was warmer but with the carpet in there it's not as warm as I would like it to be. And then I don't really know if you can see it but it says it's around 80 degrees in there. It was at 70 when I first turned it on. So it is working and it's heating up slowly. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and get like a ceramic heat emitter or a daytime bulb just to get the temperature a little bit higher. Um, and just in case this ever like malfunctions or anything, I would like to have something as a backup. So I think I'm just going to get a light along with it and then I think I'll be good. So anyway, today's the day that I'm going to go get a leopard gecko. So my heat mat works, but the whole tank like entirely just isn't getting as hot as I want it to and it's not at the right temperature. So before I go to the store where I buy the leopard gecko. I'm gonna go to Petco because I wanna get a ceramic heat emitter and a light fixture. Um, Cause I went online and it said it was like way cheaper there. So I'm gonna go there first and look and see if they have it cheaper. And if not, I'll probably get it at the store where I get the gecko. It's on. I'm just letting it heat up so that it's all warm for when my gecko gets here. Are you excited? Are we getting a new pet? Next, are you excited? You want to get a new pet? Yeah. I 
was gonna put on makeup, but then I was like, you know what? I really don't, I don't really don't care. Um, but I should have done my eyebrows because they look terrible. I also have like almost no gas, so I'm just like prepared to be broke today, you know? Okay, I just got some gas, so I'm good, and I'm at Petco now, so we're gonna go in and get a light. Okay, it kind of sucks that they have one of these, but I actually want a blue tongue skink so bad, but like, I don't think chain pet stores should have them. I can't see it, I think it's buried. See, I used to have two guinea pigs, but I'm allergic to them now, so, oh my god, like every time I see those, they're so freaking cute. I wish I could still have them, but oh my god, they make my allergies go crazy. Anyways, I got what I was looking for. I got the fixture and then the ceramic heat emitter and i did um price match because online it was cheaper so i didn't have to spend as much as i thought i was gonna which was great and then the one thing that i still need is calcium without d3 but they didn't have any um and then they did have some cork bark tunnels um that were only like 10 bucks, but I need the calcium more than I need the cork. So I think I'm just gonna wait on that, but it's good to know that they have that here. They have like a bunch of different sizes too, because that's what I do wanna add to my enclosure. But anyways, uh, now we are gonna go to the store and buy my leopard gecko. I'm so excited. Hands of tarantulas with pets, but I just, I can't. But that one is kind of pretty. All right, so it's the next day. I didn't really film at all after buying my leopard gecko just because I wanted to focus on getting her settled and everything, and I just didn't really focus on filming. So it is the next day, but she is settling pretty nicely. Anyway, I got everything hooked up. Her heat mat is working, and it's actually getting a little bit warmer. And then I have a power strip for everything. And I hooked up the ceramic heat emitter, and this thing is really hot. Um, I actually set it down just for like a second to move something, and it made this little burn mark right here in my dresser. So this thing is no joke, um, and it's kind of scaring me a little bit because I'm afraid it's going to like slide off of the lid. So I taped the cord to the side of the cage and my dresser as well, just so like the cord doesn't hang and like try to pull it down or anything. So everything is working really good. And one thing that I did notice when I came home is that when I lifted up her hide, her color was like really faded and she looked kind of pale. So I read that when they look a little pale and like when their color looks faded, that just means that they're gonna be ready to shed soon. Um, but since I just got her as well, it was kind of worrying me because, like, I think she might just be a little bit stressed out because she's in, like, a completely different place, which is understandable. But she is doing pretty good, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if she, she started shedding just because she does have a very pale color. Um, I took her out for, like, just a sec last night. Um which I know you're not really supposed to do, but she was acting fine. Um, she was really nice and friendly and like wanted to explore, but I'm gonna be leaving her in her enclosure for like the next couple days because I don't really wanna bother her or stress her out anymore. Um, but yeah, she's doing really good. So the owner, I'm pretty sure it was the owner, the owner of the pet store that I got her at, um, he said that she looks most like a girl, so that's what we're going on. Um, pretty sure she's a girl, and I was struggling with a name um, because she has like a cool little smiley face pattern at the top of her head, so I kind of wanted to like incorporate that into her name, but then I just started like thinking of a lot of different names, and I finally think I've settled on one. So the name that I have set on for now is topaz like the gem um, not like blue topaz like the actual 
um, it's like a yellowish color topaz, um, cause she has like a little bit like of a yellow coloring, but I just think it fits, I don't know, I just really like it, um, and even if like she wasn't a girl, if she ended up being a boy, which I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but even if she was like a boy, it kind of just works as a boy name or a girl name, so that's her name for now. And I know um, when leopard geckos shed, they don't really eat that much. Um, I got a 50 count mealworm and I put four in her little worm dish that are like in this corner. And there's only three in there now, so she had to have eaten one. But I did remove the lid just because I didn't really think she could see over it. So yeah, I will show you guys her in a second. Um... When I was looking through all of the leopard geckos at the store, um, I was looking for something a little bit more unique looking, um, and then I was also kind of trying to handle them to see who was the friendliest, um, because I know, like, with leopard geckos, I feel like they get skittish a lot just from, like, working with them, like, I don't know, um, but I kind of picked her out because she was pretty and friendly, um, she doesn't have a problem with me holding her, um, she hasn't screamed at me. When I was putting her into her enclosure, she was on my hand, and she jumped, like, from my hand right here onto my chest, and I think she likes my hair, because she likes to, like, hide right here, but I was, like, struggling to get her out, and she kind of just, like, made a noise, but she wasn't, like, screaming or anything, um... But yeah, so far she's a really, really nice gecko, and I already love her, so uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. So when I first put her in here, she immediately went into that hide and just hung out there for a while, and then the whole night she kind of hung out behind the hide, but now she's behind the moist hide. She's right there, and she is awake. It's kind of hard to see. I don't really want to bother her, but she's just chilling. Uh, to be honest, she was kind of worrying me for a while, um, because her color was so faded, but I just looked at her tail, and I can see a part of her shed coming off, so she's all good, but she's looking up at me right now. She's just very, like, curious, and, like, the whole car ride home, she was, like, headbutting and licking the container, which is really funny, but she's just a really nice gecko. Real quick, I'm gonna mist her with some water and I'm also gonna mist her moist hide with water just so she can get the shed off a little bit easier so I think she kind of liked that because now she's like licking the water off of the background when you have a whole water dish right here but I don't know if she's realized that yet all right so she has a moist hide all ready to go and then her temperature is actually going up um it's almost at 90 degrees which is good and the humidity is also in a really good spot right now so i'm gonna leave her alone now for the next couple days just so she can finish her shed and so she can also just get used to her new place so at the store where i bought her um they actually had the supplement that i was looking for which was calcium without d3 and I feel like this is really hard to find because when I was at Petco getting her lamp, uh, they didn't have this either. But this was actually only $6 um, when this one right here, this multivitamin that I bought, this was around like $12, I think, for the whole thing. But yeah, I got this big giant thing for only 6 bucks, so I have that now. Um, and I think later on, I'm going to go to the store and get her some Dubia roaches. Um, and maybe just some like other insects for her to eat just because um, With all the enclosures that they had for the leopard geckos at the store um, They had like a little cup of mealworms for all of them. So I kind of want to give her something different I don't know what they fed them besides mealworms. I don't know if they like gave them a variety like I don't know maybe that was just mealworm day, but I do want to give her something a little bit different and also something that she can like chase around which I don't think she'll want to do right now since she's shedding but I just want to have some different bugs to offer for her. 
So it's a little while later and I went and bought her some Dubia roaches. So I got her a 25 count and they are pretty small. Um, she should be able to eat them. I did put um, one in her bowl and I kind of like showed it to her and she wasn't really interested. And then she was hiding in there for a while in her humid hide. And I put two in there and she kind of looked like she wanted to get them, but she didn't go after them. And then she also looked like she wasn't really trying to shed her skin. Like she was just kind of laying around and not really doing anything. Um, so when I got the roaches, I also got this shedding aid just in case. And then I got home and looked at her and she was totally fine. She had shed all of her skin off. So um, I guess now I just have this just in case. But yeah, she shed her skin. She's all good now. Um, I haven't really seen her eat anything, which kind of worries me, but um, she might just still be getting used to the fact that she's in a totally different place. Um, but I do really want to see her eat soon. So I'm going to put a couple more worms and roaches in her worm dish and just kind of let her eat those when she wants to. Hopefully she does, but I'm not going to like force her to eat or anything. Uh, I want her to learn to like hunt for food on her own uh, instead of like tong feeding. I'm not really a fan of when people do that. I just think it's good for any reptile to have that hunting instinct and like go after their own prey. And also it's good exercise for them, so I want her to just do that on her own. I feel like I've been vlogging for a while and I'm not really going to be doing much with her for the next couple days just because I want her to not be too stressed out. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but I will put some clips and pictures of her at the end so you guys can see. But thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to have a new friend. And I'm really excited to watch her grow and thrive and everything. And oh, I'm just really excited. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I don't know what I'll be doing for my next video. But I will see you guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.